I think we need to focus on income streams. I also notice they've endorsed uh, income projections on member statements. So we really need that focus on retirement incomes as opposed to lump sums. Now we're not opposed to lump sums, but we, because in retirement people sometimes do need a capital for home refurbishment, to buy the last car, whatever it might be. But it should be primarily about income in retirement. That's what superannuation is all about. Well, I think the first challenge is a challenge for the population to recognise that retirement income is needed for a long time. It's not just a 10 year time horizon. It's a 25, 30, 35 year time horizon. So we have to recognise that longevity risk is a valid risk. And I think many financial advisors, let alone members of the public, don't recognise that yet. They still think that I'm going to die at 82 or 84, and they don't recognise we're living a lot longer. Obviously, in terms of changes, we need legislative change in respect of uh, the Superannuation Acts and the regulations to make it more flexible and open up more products. But I'm also very encouraged that the government has now endorsed the SIPA concept coming out of the Murray FSI inquiry that comprehensive income for retirement is now clearly on the agenda and that that's an important step forward. Look, I, I think there will be a couple, uh, technology will play its part. Uh, I think in financial services, technology will be a disruptor in terms of all financial services, so we, we expect that. I, I think we'll start to see more emphasis on households as opposed to individuals. Yeah. Uh, the whole system now is very much individual focused, uh, male, female, etc., etc. the tax system. We need to recognise that most people retire as a couple. Um, so we need to think about the couple's superannuation and whether it's owned by the male or the female or whichever partner, it's the combination that's important in retirement. So I think there's a focus there. I'm sure we will uh, see a broader range of products. Uh, that's a good thing. Um, but at the same time, we must also recognise that financial advisors, financial planners need education um, and need to understand retirement and longevity a lot better than they have in the past. And again, the government's response to the FSI in terms of uh, stronger requirements for financial advisors is a step in the right direction.